all right everybody welcome back to yet another video in the inventory component series um so let's keep going uh we are getting somewhere it's starting to look pretty good i got a lot of bug reports so keep keep spamming the bug, bug reports whenever you find something in this video we will add some more functionality we have this issue now we have a weapon equipped if i press the drop here it's still in the slot same for these ones so we can't we, we need this to update the consumable is fine though i think maybe we should create a amount widget here yeah that's fine for now um was something about did i fix yeah i fixed this so we can't drag okay good but we'll fix this start by that and that's an error set visibility mm, okay uh not sure if the error was this one or this one i'm gonna leave it for now uh, so, in the item menu, menu widget, which is this one, this drop function works from, uh, from the inventory. So if we pick up an item and just drop, it's done. We need it to work from this slot as well. So basically, in this item menu, if you go to the event graph, and we have this drop button pressed. Uh, yeah, we create an item amount widget if the stack is more. So that's fine. So it's basically this one. So at this point, we need to remove the widget, the slot itself. Uh, so what we should do. is we should make a reference here called owning slot make it of a inventory slot type so here we also need to get the owning slot Need to set the held item. Actually, we need to get the only slot and we need to get if it's an equipment slot. If it is an equipment slot, we also need to empty it after we drop. Yeah. So that means that if it's an equipment slot, we set it to empty holder item and we update. Okay, I guess we just, yeah, we can do it like this. Owning inventory. We do the helper get inventory. Uh, whoop. Ba, 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 ba. This is for updating. Here. Uh, You make a reference to the inventory widget as well. Get only inventory widget. Uh, what's that now? Inventory object reference. Inventory. WB inventory it needs to be. 
change to variable type and that should work and we're gonna make it look nicer so I'm just gonna copy this there we go there we go all right and now when we create this menu so we need to go to the inventory slot And it's on right click on mouse button down right mouse button true we create the item menu here um, when we create the item menu so we can actually get this one the owning slot instance is editable expose on spawn and pass it through uh, we can just do self and we have an owning inventory reference here in the inventory slot so we're gonna do the same thing here instance is editable Expose on spawn. Refresh again. And we're just going to grab this inventory. How do I get this one? Yeah, I said it here. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that feels like a loop. I'm creating it here just to create it here. Well, I created it here just to create it here. Oh, well, yeah, I'll clean that up later. Um, <clears throat> Let's see if that works. Didn't work, and the reason it didn't work is, of course, not because of that, it's because this is not what we should do. We should actually get held item switch uh, get defaults we should actually do this That's what we should do. Uh, my cords are going everywhere. Uh, server set armor. I should make this into a function, I think. Because I'm doing this a lot, like getting the held item and switching, and I should just do this as a function in the inventory component. That would be a lot easier. Uh, let me pause and see if I can clean this up a little bit before we go ahead. All right, so this is how I made it. Uh, we don't need to do this first. We should do this after. We can remove this. So basically, we add it in between. So we got in the item menu after we drop an item. We go to the help. We 
get the held item, we get the switch, and on the switch, we get this helper inventory component function, which just looks like this. It's just to get component from class, and we get the inventory component. From there, we actually made these functions in the last episode or some episode before, which is in the inventory component, this reset equipped for everyone, for all of them. So from here, we're just gonna uh, yeah. So, f okay, I let's do it like this instead. Go into the inventory component. We have this reset equipped, yada, yada, yada. We're just going to do a function called reset equipped item. Reset equipped slot. And we're going to do in this function, we're going to do an input of item type. And we're going to switch here. And we have these reset equipped items. We're just going to do it here instead. So server set weapon, set armor. Copy all of it. Reset consumable. So on armor, we will reset the armor. On weapon, we will set weapon. On consumable, we will set consumable. And we're not doing anything on the other ones yet. And that's going to be fine. So now, mm, this is dropping, this is not resetting. But we still wanna, we can still switch these ones out. So we can take, instead of having three functions, we can just have one function. Delete this, this is armor, so we're gonna set this to armor. This is weapon. So we're gonna set this to weapon. This is equipped slot. Uh, uh, the consumable, so this is gonna be the consumable. There we go. And we can now do the same here. This is where it gets cleaner, especially because instead of doing all this, we can just. Uh, oh, no. We can just from this one. Reset equipped slot. So we only have one function to call, and we can just grab the item type from here, and we don't need all of this. That makes it a lot cleaner. And it should still work, everything. You can see, we cannot drop. We cannot drop from here. And we can still drop it, so that still works. 
So yeah, seems like everything works. And it's a lot cleaner, seems to replicate. Yeah, still replicates. Looks good. That's a smooth video. Hopefully the audio works. That's gonna be it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.